Here we are on the road again, this time on the Autobahn to Heidelberg, where we have four main objectives. One is to visit the old town of Heidelberg, then go to the castle of Schwetzingen, and later on visit the palace of Bruxelles. But all of that later. We started our walk at Heidelberg's Hauptstraße, which is the main pedestrian zone and a popular shopping street. You have probably all heard of uh, Heidelberg, which is a known university town in the German state of Baden-Württemberg, situated on the river Neckar in the southwest of Germany. Heidelberg University played a leading part in the area of humanism and reformation and the conflict between Lutheranism and Calvinism. Heidelberg's library, founded in 1421, is the oldest existing public library in Germany. After a long walk through the old city, we walked up to the castle, which has only been partially rebuilt since its demolition in the 17th and 18th centuries. It is located 18 meters up the northern part of the Königstuhl hillside and thereby dominates the view of the old downtown. When Ruprecht became the king of Germany in 1401, the castle was so small that on his return from his coronation, he had to camp out in the Augustinians monastery on the site of today's university square. What he desired was more space for his entourage and court and to impress his guests, but also additional defenses to turn the castle into a fortress. During the visit of the castle, we could obviously not miss on the great Heidelberg Tun, which is an extremely large wine vat contained within the cellars of Heidelberg Castle. There is even a dance floor on top of the barrel. There have been four such barrels in the history of Heidelberg. In 1751, the year of its construction, the present one had a capacity of uh, over 220 thousand liters. Uh, but due to the drying of the wood, its current capacity is uh, 219,000 liters, which is still 58,000 US gallons. On the other side of the castle square, there is the Apothecary Museum, which uh, displays over a thousand raw drugs representing medicine from the 17th to the 19th century. All in all, the visit of Heidelberg Castle was really worthwhile. I particularly enjoyed the park outside, which is really beautiful and has some uh, art displays. And especially the view that you can see from uh, the far end of the park down to the river Neckar was quite incredible.
After having spent all day out and about, it was time to have some meal. So we went for Italian. After a long day and a good dinner, we decided it was time to go back home. Just a 30 minutes drive back to Rauensberg. Yes, good morning indeed from Rauensberg. Today we have a long day ahead of us since we're going to visit the castle of uh, Schwetzingen and then continue uh, to the palace of Bruchsal on the way home. Schwetzingen castle is not too far away. It's around a 30 minutes drive away from Rauensberg where I stayed overnight. Schwetzingen Palace is a castle in the German state of Baden-Württemberg. Schwetzingen was the summer residence of the electors Palatine Charles III, Philip and Charles IV Theodore uh, of the House of Wittelsbach. The palace is most notable for its uh, exceptionally well-preserved gardens The Red Mosque in the Garden Complex was built between 1779 and 91 by a French architect for the Prince Elector of the Palatinate, but was never intended for prayer.
You heard the sound of the chimes at the nearby district court, but now let's enter the palace. After giving our names and addresses for traceability purposes in regards to COVID-19, we bought our tickets for 8 euros each. Bruchsal Palace itself is also known as Damiansburg and is a Baroque palace complex. The complex is made up of over 50 buildings. These include a three-winged residential building with an attached chapel, four pavilions separated with roads, some smaller utility buildings and a garden. You saw the entrance staircase, which is regarded as one of the finest examples of its kind in any Baroque palace. Let's just fly by the different rooms to get to one of the main spots uh, within that castle, which is the Prince's Hall, or in German, the Fürstensaal. It is one of two ballrooms on the Bel Etage. It is the southern of the two. The hall also is bearing portraits of the Prince Bishop from Eberhard von Dienheim, the final Prince Bishop. Let's just have a quiet look at this beauty which unfolds in front of our eyes. In an air raid on uh, 1 March 1945, the American Air Force attacked and destroyed the city's marshalling yard. 80% of the city was destroyed, as was Bruchsal Palace, incinerated to just the staircase and some of the facade. The palace has since been completely rebuilt in a restoration project that lasted until 1996. The interiors have been partly restored and the palace now houses two museums. The garden of the castle was first laid out in 1723 and it was doubled in size in 1728. It was then replaced in 1770 with an English landscape garden. I hope you did enjoy this castle tour of Baden-Württemberg. So let's meet again on a new discovery tour, somewhere new, sometime soon.